Give me the signal. <laughs> All I need is a signal. We're live Look at on this. Instagram. We're live. Let's just get this out of the way. Hey. Look at it. Like it. Look at it. Hey, they mainly can see the, the blue and the white, so we got red, white, and blue. Didn't even plan it. That's it. USA, <laughs> baby. Hey, before we get any, any, any into the, welcome the, show, to the show, welcome to the show, first of all, but y'all need to check this clip out right here. Check it out. All right, well, that's very nice. That's nice. That Hopefully, that gets your day started. What do you think about that? <laughs> very nice. Nice doggy. Yes. Nice doggy. Although, I can't. It looks like the dog's actually pushing the weights down. <laughs> yes. he's, trying to, he's trying to get that guy a little bit more. Little trying to get gains, him tight. A little more gains. Lock it up. up. It's all about getting the gains, ain't it? Lock it up. Old golden retriever. Babe, before we get too far there, Jordan! We're putting, we're putting. Jordan! Putting one of our awesome trainers on blast. Come here. Come on, baby. We got, we got it. Talk to Jordan. Jordan, come here. Hordon. Come on in, man. What do you all want? Come here. Right here. Hey, we're gonna use this opportunity to give a little shout out to Jordan Boyer. Hey. Listen here, been with us for a year. Ooh. Wanna let you know we appreciate you. Oh, all right. That's about it. A year today. That's it. Hey, think about just that. It's a day? Yeah, today. Dang. You're a great asset to the company. Bounce them a little bit for the, for the one year. Oh man, I wish. <laughs> that's gonna be on. That's gonna be in year two. That's gonna be, uh, next, that's gonna be in year, year two. Next year. <laughs> I like being this close to him though. Hey. Anyway, hey. thank you, Jordan. Jordan right. Boyer. That's it, man. All right. right on. That's all we need. One year. That was it. Hey, listen up. Listen up. Listen. We're gonna talk about some acid today. Not some ass. Whoa. Some acid. Some like Bill. At like Bill Walton. Acid. At, well, he was like big into dropping acid. What about lactic acid? Lactic acid. And the big thing that we're going to talk about is last. It's, it's bad, isn't it? And it's not bad. No, you use a lie. I'm not lying about use it. A lie. I'm not lying about it. Lactic acid is, is is not bad for your body. It's good for your body. Isn't that crazy? Say what? Dude, we're just trying to spit it. We're trying to spit it. We're going to keep it real today. Yeah. All right. Tell me about it. Well, why is it bad then, or why is it good? Why do I? Why have I told people in the let's past? Let's start it's bad? from the beginning. <laughs> Take it back. Let's start from the beginning. So over the past hundred years, ever since in 1929, old Archibald, old Archibald Hill, old Archie, old Archie, Price. he ran some tests on some frogs. He got froggy, and he did the, did a test on frog muscles. He flexed them to fatigue and noticed that there was an increase in lactic acid. How did he do that? I wonder. Did he <laughs> sit there and squeeze the frog leg? I guess. Pumped it. I don't know. The fact of the matter is, it made sense. The more he flexed the muscles, the more lactic acid was built up. So you can assume that so lactic acid caused the fatigue in the muscle. Yeah, that correlation principle. The muscles get fatigued. And let's just be let's present. just be real. I've done it too, and and you say you've had you have in the past, but we've said you've got to get the lactic acid out. Sure. Using little terms like that foam roll, get that lactic acid out. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Stretch, get that lactic acid out. But you feel that burn, that's that lactic acid. Yes. And that's not true. Based on this research. Not true. Yeah. Based on our research, it's not true. So when you look at the whole biological system, as opposed just to the muscles um, getting flexed, the thing that they found is that the lactic acid is actually process hold on joe hold on joe <laughs> i can't see my my screen joe <laughs> converted to fuel to help <laughs> old joey hey. sleepy, sleepy zach the lactic acid is converted to fuel to help that's right the, the muscle fatigue that's right that's right so it's actually not only is it not bad for us it helps us According right. according to this research, yeah, it actually, so lactic acid, Lauren Cordain, yeah, exactly. He's Old the Lord paleo Lord. guy, sharp guy. Well, he's got to be. He's a hunter gatherer, <laughs> or he lives that life. He's about that life. Anyway, we're gonna get off track, man. But it's so it's good for you. Yeah, it's good for it's you. good for you. The lactic acid is our friend. Um, it's not the enemy. So stop hating on lactic acid. Yep. So why do we feel that burn then? So you have to have an understanding, and this is, we're not trying to get too technical, because obviously it could <laughs> easily be above our head too. Because <laughs> we can't. Because we can't. But what causes the burn, you have to understand the pH level. Okay. You know what pH stands for? Like pH fat. Like pH, <laughs> like do you know what pH so like the alkalinity and the uh, it's, it's, acidic levels. It's not the percentage, but it's the... Um, it's the number one through 14. 
Yeah, it's, it's based on hydrogen. Yeah. How many hydrogen atoms are, are present. And so when Look the... you. <laughs> I got my screen in front Look of you. <laughs> <laughs> so typically our blood um, has a pH of 7.4, which is slightly alkaline. Right. Which is good. Yeah. That's what we want. That's exactly what we want. So for example, we look at like vinegar. I know vinegar has um, a pH of like three. I believe it's not one it's like three and if you look at milk or milk of magnesia it's like um 10. right very so milk of magnesia would be very alkaline yeah very alkaline where apple cider vinegar would be very very acidic very acidic. okay i'm tracking yeah i'm tracking yeah so what happens when you exercise this is where this is when we're talking about the ph what happens when you exercise is that you have two different things you got glycogen mm -hmm. glycogen is stored in your muscles mm -hmm. glucose yeah, is stored in in your bloodstream, what's in your yeah, bloodstream? Released, really, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, the glycogen is the quickest source of energy, right? Correct. And when your body pulls and uses that glycogen from your uh, from your muscles, one hydrogen gets released, one hydrogen atom, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Even more intense exercise for like about of say like two to three minutes. You know when you start exercising, it burns so bad, so bad. When all that glycogen in your muscle gets used up the glucose has to get recruited in mm -hmm. your bloodstream, from mm -hmm. your bloodstream, right? When the glucose gets used, there's about two hydrogen atoms that get released. Mm -hmm. And then so that, that sh that's the shift. That causes more of an acidic environment. Yeah, it drops the pH. Temporarily. Temporarily. It, it, yes, it drops the pH. And when the pH drops, that's where you feel the burn. And it's usually localized in that area of the muscle being worked, which is why. So if I'm sitting there pumping out quad extensions, yes. the quad starts to burn. Not right. because of the lactic acid, but because of the acidic level dropping. That's no, the, the acidity is rising. Or I'm sorry, the acidity is rising. The exactly. pH level is dropping. Yes, because the acidity has rises. nothing to do with lactic acid. Though. Right, and that's where lactic acid is pulled from your body to help the fatigue muscle keep going. So, like before we found this out, we weren't intentionally telling y'all the wrong thing. It's just that was kind of the common knowledge. That's right. Right. So ninety percent or so of your trainers and just kind of fitness gurus out there probably telling you things like you know kind of get rid of that lactic acid yeah, wear it's easy thing to say this way. right it's easy to say it sounds good i mean but the next good, day like i did legs yesterday i beat the legs up in our virtual class and my hips i'm sore to the touch you get like that where you're sore to the touch that's more muscle cell cellular muscle damage right that your body will heal but that's not, it's not lactic acid. Well, and it's common sense why the muscle then starts to hurt then the next day for the soreness because you've literally been tearing up muscle tissue. So you've damaged. Yeah, muscle damage. It's trauma Pretty common body. sense. All right. those micro tears. Right. Then that's why we gotta eat healthy, good food to help go in and repair your body. Sometimes, honestly, the, the, uh, the obvious answer is the right answer, but as fitness professionals, I think there's this, this urge to want to elaborate sometimes too deep onto things instead of just telling people your muscles are sore because you beat them up. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes I think we feel this need to divulge and pontificate on these crazy theories of lactic acid buildup and all this and that and whatever. So, but some trainers, you're sore, like, you're a sore lot of trainers you like to up. do that, man. Right, they do. They like to just sound like they know what the heck they're talking about. And rattle off a bunch of stuff that they read in men's health and just right. use it as their own information. Men's health. We see that all the time. Top eight ways to get abs. Yeah. <laughs> they got some good Top. stuff in men's health. I'm, I'm not going to lie. What do you like about men's health? Man, do you, think, do you think that they understood what we talked about in this little show today? I hope so. So basically, lactic Recap. acid. Lactic acid not only is not bad for you, it's good for you. You need it. There's no way to get around the production of lactic acid. It just happens. That's the big takeaway. Lactic acid actually helps remove some of the hydrogens and the basically those things that are causing the soreness in the muscle while you're working out. And the reason that you're sore a day or two or maybe even three later is simply because when you lift weights or do any sort of resistance training, you're literally damaging and causing small little tears in the muscle fibers. That's good information, guys. That's it. So that's, that's great information. We stumbled along. I stumbled along the way a little bit, but lactic acid, not bad. Lactic acid is good. It's there to help the muscle when the muscle is extremely fatigued. You have our permission to politely roll your eyes. Yeah, somebody, regurgitate it to somebody. The and next you, time and you won't you. be able to explain it. If, if you're basing your knowledge off of this little, little uh, video, you probably won't be able to explain it very well, but you can say I heard somewhere. I learned about milk and magnesia. 10.4 on the pH. That Vinegar. Makes, that's what makes you go poop. Milk yeah. magnesia? It is. It does. Is that all it does? Like, why else do people use it? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. 
don't know. Anyway. Hey, anything else to bring to the table today? Man, that's it. Just no. lactic acid. Don't hate. Don't hate the lactic acid. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate. Don't hate. Appreciate. And um, when you flex frog legs, sometimes you figure stuff out. <laughs> Amen. Amen to that. All right, that's let's it. peace out. Man. We're done. Peace. All right, y'all.